All right, let's look at a, a couple of different uh, things that we might need to do if we're cleaning up some edits here. Uh, here I've got a, my Rhodes file. If I look back on the, the air photo behind it, I can see that this is offset pretty badly. And there's some of these intersections that ought to be moved. So let, let's look at a variety of different ways I could clean this up. Um, I'm going to make sure my editing session is on. So I'm in an edit session right now. And I'm going to start with the edit tool here. And I'm going to select this line and double click to be able to see the vertices here. And I can kind of go along this line now. Let me see if I did too much. And move these vertices to fix them. Notice I'm going to break the connection to that road uh, that I'll need to fix later. Need a new vertex here, so I'm going to right click, say insert vertex. Now you may say to yourself, geez, that road was so bad, I'll just start from scratch. And that certainly could have been one of your options. Um, but I might have had attributes or other information that I don't want to retain, or maybe my edits are fairly minor, so I'm okay with that. So I'm going to move along this road uh, and do my best guess. I'm trying to figure out where that road goes based upon the underlying air photo. And you know, I, I, I can't imagine something more engaging than just sitting here and watching somebody edit something. So, you know, enjoy this while you can. All right. So I'm doing a better job of matching the curve underneath, inserting vertices when I need it. At some points, you may need to um, take a line and split it into two pieces. And so there's some other tools that we're going to need. Let's say I've got a road coming off here, and I need to split this here to have a new endpoint to connect to. So I could use the split tool and split that road into two pieces. And so now when I go back and I start to edit, I've got two pieces to deal with instead of one. And I've got a new endpoint that I can connect to. So if I imagine having a new road coming off here, I could go back to my construction tools and I've got my endpoint snapping turned on and I can digitize a new road off that direction. I could have a road here that, that's broken, it's disconnected here, so I need to connect those two up. Um, let's, one of them's in the right spot and the other one isn't. So I'll grab this vertex and again notice it snaps um, because my endpoint snapping is turned on. And I can connect those two roads up again. All right, let's see what else do we have. Um, you could remove a vertex. If I have two vertices that are somewhat redundant and I only need one of them, I could right click on that and say delete and clean up my, um, my line work uh, so I don't have extra vertices that I don't need. <clears throat> While I'm digitizing, I haven't mentioned this yet, but we can also work on attributes. If I have a line selected, over here in the Create Features pane, there's an option down here to look at the attributes on the feature that I've got. And I can go in here and, and change things <clears throat> and add attributes as I'm digitizing. All right. Um, I think that's all for our line digitizing. Uh, good luck and enjoy.